In this video, again, we're with that large data set um, that we were working in with the previous video. Um, I've unfrozen everything and got rid of my panes. I just have the regular worksheet here viewable. Um, and I want to talk about some tips for trying to find duplicate record, records. So when you have really large data sets, it's very easy to make mistakes, right? We're all human. Um, you know, the data has to get entered usually by a person, right, somewhere at some point. Even if you're copying it in from another system, it was entered somewhere. Um, so there's a good chance that there's errors in your data, particularly when you have super large sets. Um, and to go through 500 lines, um, you know, manually is, is very, very challenging and time consuming and, and difficult. I know my eyes would start to glaze over going through that anyway. So I'm going to show you some tips here on how to find duplicate records. And then you can go in and manually fix those afterwards. Um, so there's two different things that you can do. The first is to use conditional formatting. Um, so I'm going to show you that first. And this technique works really well if you want to focus on a particular column, for instance, or a particular, you know, kind of small area of your worksheet. So I'm going to highlight the ID um, section here. So I'm going to highlight the cells that have employee IDs in them. And I'd like to look for duplicates, right? Because I don't want two employees uh, who are different to have the same ID. Uh, or again, I want to make sure that I haven't done it twice by accident. So you can just, you know, click and select if you want to. There's a little shortcut up here in the name box. You can write in um, A5, and we're going down to A538. And hit enter, and it will select that range for you. So those are, you can do it either way. And then we're going to go back up here to the home tab. I'm going to go over to conditional formatting. And I'm going to use the highlight cells rule here. And you can see on the right that they do have one that's automatically set up for duplicate values, right? Because these errors happen pretty often. So I'm going to click the duplicate values one. And I want to format the cells that are duplicates, so they're repeats. And again, you can highlight them however you want. I'll leave it as uh, the light red writing with um, the light red fill, excuse me, with the dark red text, uh, but you can change that if you want to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then as I scroll through, that first column will highlight where I see any duplicates. So for instance, in this first case for 38 to 39, um, I see a duplicate. So these are two different employees, right? Obviously, their their names are different. Their hire dates are different. Um, so they're not the same employee. Um, they should not have the same employee ID. So maybe I'm the manager here, or I, I work in HR or whatever it is, and I go back through my records, um, and I say, oh, I had made a mistake here. I entered this wrong. So we're going to fix this. So let's see. Uh, Rachel, who's this one right here, her ID, let's say, should have been uh, 617 and not 517. So once I make that change and hit enter, the formatting goes away. So it's recognizing that we have corrected that um, and it's not a duplicate anymore. I'm going to scroll down some more here. So the next one I see is I have, again, duplicates here as well. Um, but if I look more carefully, I see that the entire row is duplicated. Um, so it's not a mistake in entering an employee ID number. I see that actually um, I entered this information three times by accident or I copied it in wrong or something like that. So again, I'm going to go ahead and fix this. I'm going to go ahead and click rows 87 and 88. I'm just going to right click and then I'm going to go ahead and delete those rows. And again, once I fix that duplicate, my conditional formatting will go away. Now, one thing I do want to note here is that duplicates do not have to occur next to each other. So, so far in our document, all the duplicates have been like one row under the other, but they don't have to be. So you do want to be careful because it could flag a duplicate, you know, maybe there's an, a repeat employee ID number and one's up here and one's down here. So it will flag any duplicate. They don't have to be right adjacent to each other. All right. Sorry. Looking good so far. And I see one more. I think that's the last one. So here's another duplicate right here. Um, again, I see um, same employee ID. I have the same name, although it looks like I have a spelling error, right? So I see Carmen and then Carmen spelled without an E. But if I go through and pay attention, they have the same hire dates, same location, same salary, same commission. Again, I can check all my columns and it's it's clearly I've made a mistake here. 
um, and copy this in wrong. So I'm going to select row 296, which also has the spelling error in it. And again, I'm going to go ahead and delete that row and, and clean this up. So now if I look, I don't see any more duplicate um, IDs. Now, this is kind of tough to go through for each column individually, though, right? Like, I don't really want to go through every single column and do this, um, particularly if I have a lot of columns to deal with here. It's not too bad. I don't have too many, um, but it's a lot to manually go through, and then you're still manually checking every little detail uh, to see how, how it's going here as well. Okay. so. Um, let's go into a little bit more detail here and look at duplicate, um, how to check duplicates in more than one column at once. Okay, so let's keep going here. And I want you to know something else too. So um, I've seen this worksheet already, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Um, but I want you to notice too that when we had deleted and repaired one of the entries for Carmen, um, I actually see a second entry still for Carmen below, um, but notice here it wasn't flagged originally because it has two different employee IDs, um, but if I go across, I see that everything else is the same. So again, one of these must have been done incorrectly, and one of these employee IDs are wrong. Um, now again, I can go back through my records, and I can confirm, for instance, that the second one is, is incorrect. It should have been 716 and it got entered again as 761. So this is the one that is incorrect. We would like to delete this row as well. So of course I can manually delete that, um, but as I've mentioned before, it's really cumbersome to try to go through all 500 in, in detail, um, just using you know the human eye to see if you have any other mistakes like this. I just happened to catch it because the conditional formatting flagged the issue with Carmen being a repeat already. Um, so we like to check the entire document to see if there's any other cases like this, where maybe the IDs are different by accident, but the same employee is listed um, like it is for Carmen here. So this is what I'm going to show you now. All right, so we're going to go to the data tab here. All right, and I want to go to um, the data tools, and I want the one that says remove duplicates. So if you kind of scroll down, you see the second one here is called, says remove duplicates. Um, so it's kind of Xing out the extra one. Now you do want to be really careful here. When we remove duplicates, Excel will remove the second entry, not the first. Um, so here, this is going to work for us because, you know, I've done my research and I know the second entry is wrong. Uh, but you again, you do want to be careful. So when you remove duplicates this way, you're not prompted to check them all like you are with the conditional formatting. You just remove them. Um, and Excel will remove the um, the second or if there's more than one, like second, third, fourth duplicate entries, not the first one. So you just want to be really careful there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And I'm going to select all columns but ID. So for this particular reason why I'm doing this is I'm basically looking for employees who are the same but maybe entered as two different IDs by accident, like it happened with Carmen. So I don't need the same employee in there more than once. I can go in and fix their employee ID afterwards if I need to. Um, so I would like to remove um, rows where the employee is repeated twice. And by clicking all the columns, I ensure that all of them would be the same. So I'm looking for duplicates, in which case all columns have the same information, right? So I'm not just selecting one here um, to look for just one single duplicate. I'm looking where like everything is the same across the board. So again, you just want to be really careful when you're removing duplicates um, because it automatically removes the second one and maybe that one was the correct one. So you just want to be a little careful here. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it does tell me that there was one duplicate value found. This was the one for Carmen. Um, and it was removed. So again, it doesn't let me check these. It just removes them automatically. Um, and then I can click OK. 
Um, so if you make a mistake there, you can always go back and hit the undo button, for instance, um, or make sure you have an older version saved before you start, you know, deleting everything and deciding later on that, oh, no, you shouldn't have done that. Um, so you may want to have a backup file there. Um, so it is very helpful. But again, you do want to be really careful um, when you remove duplicates because you don't check them individually.